Hi, this is TapCat, and today I'd like to talk to you about the best build and equipment for your Grenadier in XCOM 2. The first choice you're going to need to make is between Blast Padding and Shredder. Now, Blast Padding is a purely defensive ability where Shredder will help you by reducing the armor on the toughest opponents you're going to face. Uh, virtually everyone that's going to give you real trouble, whether it's Mutons when you first start fighting them, or by the end game, Gatekeepers and Sectopods, uh, their armor is the first thing you have to get through. Every Grenadier you ever make should take Shredder over Blast Padding. Now we come to a choice that is almost irrelevant in my eyes because I really don't care for either of these abilities. I seldom use either. Uh, Demolition does the same thing as a grenade except it's not even guaranteed to work and uses a bunch of ammo. And suppression stops working as soon as your uh, enemy moves. Although you will trigger an overwatch shot. And therefore, I'll take suppression even though I seldom use it. Now, there are people who prefer to take heavy ordnance, volatile mix, and salvo and really get the most out of the grenades that Grenadiers uses. Unfortunately, the developers nerfed grenades way back when the Alien Hunters patch went live, so that strategy isn't quite as good as it used to be. We're going to take hollow targeting to help ensure that the rest of the squad can consistently take down some of the enemies such as Archons and Gatekeepers that not only have a lot of health, but also high defense that make them harder to hit. We're going to take Chain Shot over Volatile Mix because quite simply it'll let us do double the damage. It does have a cooldown so you can't use it every turn, but it's really good when you do use it. Now, Hail of Bullets is great because it lets you push through guaranteed damage. When you attack using Hail of Bullets, you are, as it says, guaranteed to hit your target. Rupture versus Saturation Fire is one of the few times where I feel like you can't go wrong whichever one you pick because they're both very good. Saturation Fire will give you an area of effect attack, something that other than grenades is pretty uncommon in XCOM 2. Uh, I tend to go with Rupture because I'm usually less worried about hurting a lot of targets then I am killing the one who most scares me. So for example, I might use this on a gatekeeper or something, uh, but I will go for rupture. But again, honestly, if you have two grenadiers that make it to Colonel, then in that case, I would probably take uh, one on each. That covers all the promotions. Now let's talk about weapon upgrades. First off, I always want the best scope I can get for a Grenadier. And the other one that is key is having an expanded magazine. You have several abilities that use up extra ammo. So having just three ammo capacity is not good enough. Now, if for some reason you simply cannot get enough expanded magazines to go around, then an auto loader would be the next best substitute. The personal combat sim or PCS that I recommend is Perception, which will give you an aim bonus. If you get a superior, which is the best category, it can be worth anywhere from 12 to 16 aim. And if you've purchased the integrated warfare upgrade through the Guerrilla Tactics School, that actually bumps up to 16 to 21. So this is a really nice boost to your Grenadier's aim and it helps make an ability like Quick Shot a lot more useful. When it comes to the ideal loadout for Grenadier, I'm going to keep my recommendations pretty simple. In the beginning of the game, you have access to frag grenades and I would certainly bring a maximum load of those. And then later you'll have a chance to upgrade them to plasma in the Proving Grounds. I lean primarily on the plasma grenades, 
But acid bombs are also useful when you run into the most heavily armored enemies in the game. So for example, the Sectopod and the Gatekeeper. I would never bring more than one of those on a mission. Uh, so even if you bring two Grenadiers, I would only equip one acid bomb and the rest plasma. Now for the extra utility item, I would recommend blue screen rounds. They go really well with Shredder because of the fact that most of the heavily armored opponents in the game are robotic and blue screen rounds will do significant bonus damage against that enemy type. So since you're going to want your Grenadier to shoot at them to begin with, the blue screen rounds will help you deal out a maximum amount of damage. All right, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it was, please consider giving it a like. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then by all means, subscribe to the channel. That's all for now, though. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time.